Elon Musk wants you to picture this. A friendly robot in your home, folding your laundry, maybe taking out the trash. It's a convenient, approachable vision of the future. But the future he's really building isn't about laundry. It's about a network of machines with capabilities he's not highlighting on the main stage. These are the long-term goals that go far beyond simple chores, hinting at a revolution that will reshape our world in ways most of us are only beginning to consider. In this video, we're unveiling five of those mind-blowing ambitions that prove the Tesla bot is destined for something much, much bigger. Before we pull back the curtain, let's quickly rewind. The journey to the Tesla bot Gen 3, also known as Optimus, has been incredibly fast. We all remember the early prototypes and the slow, almost clumsy movements that drew skepticism. Many wondered if it could ever move beyond a scripted demo, but with each version, from the early Bumblebee to the much more fluid Gen 2, Tesla has been methodically solving the core challenges of humanoid robotics. Now with Gen 3, we're seeing a machine that is lighter, faster, and smarter, navigating the world with increasing autonomy. Publicly, the story is straightforward. Elon Musk talks about a future where thousands of Optimus robots are working in Tesla factories by 2025, handling repetitive or dangerous jobs. He projects a future where you might buy one for your home for under $20,000, less than the price of a car, to act as a butler or helper. While that alone is revolutionary, it's also a simplified narrative. The truly world-changing potential lies in the bot's foundational technology, its AI, its sensors, and its incredible dexterity. These are the long-term ambitions we're about to explore. The first major ambition isn't about a single robot, but all of them at once. The real power of Optimus won't just be its onboard brain, but its potential to connect to a collective network. This is an idea Tesla pioneered with its electric vehicles, where every car on the road collects data that helps improve the entire fleet's full self-driving capabilities. Now, imagine that concept applied to millions of robots. The goal is for every task an Optimus performs, every mistake it makes, and every new object it identifies to be shared and learned across the network. One robot could learn a new skill in a factory, and that knowledge could then be deployed to thousands of other robots. Taking this even further, Tesla Tesla is making significant strides in training Optimus to learn just by watching videos. Musk and his engineering team have discussed a future where an engineer could show the bot a how-to video, and the bot could translate that visual information into its own physical actions. This concept, what Musk calls task extensibility, means Optimus's skill set wouldn't be limited by what engineers can code, but by what it can observe. This is how you could get an exponential explosion in capability, creating a workforce that learns and adapts at a speed we've never seen before. The second ambition is hidden in its hands. While videos of Optimus folding laundry are impressive, they may be a deliberate understatement of its true potential. Elon Musk has stated that a huge amount of the engineering effort on the robot was focused on creating its hands. The latest version is a marvel of engineering with 22 degrees of freedom, which is remarkably close to a human hand. These hands are packed with custom tactile sensors, allowing them to handle delicate objects like an egg without breaking it. But what does that dexterity really mean for the future? It means Optimus isn't being designed for just simple, repetitive tasks. It's being built with skilled labor in mind. With hands this advanced, it could one day perform delicate lab work, assemble intricate electronics, or even assist in medical procedures. Musk has even gone on record saying the bot will eventually be able to play the piano. Think about that for a moment. Playing a piano requires a level of nuance, speed, and dynamic control far beyond any factory or household chore. This isn't just about creating a worker, it's about creating a robotic artisan. The focus on laundry is a great starting point, but the real goal is a machine that can perform complex, specialized tasks in industries that currently rely on highly trained human experts. The third long-term goal is perhaps the most profound, and it moves the Tesla bot from being just a tool to a potential companion. While Tesla officially highlights its autopilot-grade cameras for navigation, the full sensor suite lays the groundwork for something more, understanding humans. The bot is equipped with a complex array of sensors that, when combined, allow it to perceive its environment with extreme precision. Now, consider the next logical step. For a robot designed to operate an 
our spaces, homes, hospitals, and workplaces, the most important data to understand is us. The same AI that processes visual data to navigate a room could eventually be trained to interpret human body language. The microphones that listen for voice commands could be trained to analyze tone and infer emotional state. This leads directly to one of Musk's less publicized but most impactful proposed applications, healthcare and elder care. He has explicitly mentioned that Optimus could serve as a helper for someone who needs physical assistance, reducing strain on human caregivers. This would require more than just mechanical ability. It requires a degree of social awareness. A robot that can sense when you're frustrated or in distress is no longer just a machine that follows commands. It's the beginning of an empathetic assistant, and this social understanding is the quiet, complex feature that could redefine human-robot interaction. The fourth ambition reveals the strategy for its massive growth. Musk isn't just building robots, he's building the machine that builds the machine. A key long-term goal for Optimus is for it to become a core part of its own manufacturing process. Early units are already being deployed in Tesla's factories to handle tasks like sorting battery cells and moving components. The official reason is to free up human workers for more complex roles. The unofficial strategy is to teach the robots how to build more of themselves. This is the key to Musk incredibly ambitious production targets. To achieve this, the bot has been designed with an emphasis on modularity to simplify maintenance and assembly. Imagine a factory floor where humans aren't just assembling robots but are supervising robots that are building other robots. This creates a feedback loop for exponential growth. If one robot can help build 10 more and those 10 can build 100, you suddenly have a scalable workforce limited only by raw materials. This self-replication potential is a cornerstone of Musk's vision for a new kind of industrial revolution. It's not just about selling a product, it's about creating an autonomous, self-expanding labor force that could fundamentally change the economics of manufacturing. The final ambition ties everything together and explains how this technology might reach the masses. While Musk has mentioned a target price of around $20,000, most people probably won't buy an Optimus bot, at least not at first. Instead, the vision is that they will summon one. Just as Tesla plans a robo-taxi network for transportation, they are laying the groundwork for an Optimus network for autonomous labor. Think of it like an Uber or DoorDash for tasks. You don't need to own a car to get a ride, you just use an app. In the future, if you need a specific job done, mowing your lawn, fixing a leaky faucet, or even having a personal chef for a night, you might not hire a person. You might open an app and summon an Optimus with the required skills. The bot arrives, completes the task, and then moves on to its next job. This model sidesteps the debate over affordability and brings advanced robotics into the sharing economy. It also connects to the larger Tesla ecosystem, where the same network managing the robotaxi fleet could manage the Optimus fleet. This isn't just a plan to sell a robot, it's a vision for an entirely new on-demand labor market. So. Let's connect the dots, a collective learning network that could grow exponentially. Hands with near-human dexterity for skilled labor, the sensory awareness to potentially understand and interact with people safely, the ability to help build more of itself, and a rentable network that could make its power accessible to everyone. These five pillars are not separate upgrades, they are part of a single audacious vision. This is not just about a household helper, this is about creating a global, autonomous, and versatile workforce. Musk has even floated the idea of sending Optimus robots on a starship for a future mission to Mars. The ultimate plan seems to be creating a form of artificial general labor that could address labor shortages, drive down the cost of goods and services, and usher in an age of abundance. The laundry folding robot is just the friendly face of a project far more ambitious and disruptive than most people realize. We've just walked through five of the biggest long-term ambitions for the Tesla Bot Gen 3. From its collective learning and human-like hands to its potential for social awareness, self-replication, and a task-based rental network, it's clear that the future Elon Musk is building goes far beyond the home. The true purpose of Optimus seems to be redefining labor itself. Now that you know the incredible potential of the Tesla Bot, I have a question for you. What is one job you think it could do that no one is talking about? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want more deep dives that uncover the truth behind the technology shaping our future. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.